once I FaceTime my daughter and she says, you know, uh, can you come tomorrow? That is a trouble. I'm 42, running 43, which means I have to eat nicely. I can't just eat what I want to eat. You have to train because at the end of the day, nobody cares if you're 42, 45 or 50. At the same time, your friends keep on complaining. You know, they'll be like, oh, we gave you a lot of time, you know, uh, now that you have retired from international cricket, you have to spend some time with us. You need to eat what we are eating and all of that. Before you were retired, I'm sure um, there was a lot of expectations on you in terms of performing in cricket and every day would have been really, really difficult in terms of dealing with the expectations. But now that you've retired, has… One second, retired from international cricket. From, uh, uh, point, point to be <laughs> noted. Why? Hello, hello, hello. There's a CSK fan. <laughs> So retired from international cricket right. only. Please so continue. Retired from international cricket. Has uh, life uh, become easier in terms of the expectations and the pressure? Has life become easier in general? Well, you know, frankly, if you ask me, if you are a celebrity in India, if people look up to you, there's always certain amount of responsibility, roles that you're supposed to fulfill. And that expectation is always there. Also, I'm only playing IPL, which means I'm actively playing cricket for two months in a year. In fact, it's slightly more difficult because I'm not playing throughout the year. So now my role and responsibility for CSK or towards cricket, I have to keep myself fit. Right. So I have to plan the whole year where, you know, what I need to do, when I need to do. I'm 42, running 43, which means I have to eat nicely. I can't just eat what I want to eat. You have to train because at the end of the day, nobody cares if you're 42, 45 or 50. If you're competing with people at the top level, you have to be at the same benchmark, you know, what they are setting. They may be 20, they may be 15, they may be 17. So if you're competing with them, you know, you have to be like them. So there's no excuses for that. So that's one of the reasons I find it slightly more difficult. You know, you have to be very motivated. At the same time, your friends keep on complaining. You know, they'll be like, oh, we gave you a lot of time, you know, uh, now that you have retired from international cricket, you have to spend some time with us. You need to eat what we are eating and all of that. Right. So you have to balance it out. So that expectation level, that pressure is still there. So most of us, when we look at a celebrity, we feel like, okay, their life is perfect. Everything is going well, happy life. So I wanted to ask you, uh, is, it, I mean, is there anything that's like bothering you in life, any problems that you're facing? Like, is life really perfect? I feel problems are the real essence of life. Imagine if you have a life where everything is so smooth that once you get up in the morning, you don't really have anything to look up to. Because everything is so smooth, you know, whether it's your business, whether it's something or the other. So for me, you know, when I was like COVID times and all, I had a lot of times. My worry was, you know, I have to make that bike. So once I've opened my bike and I don't know much about it, then I'm like, you know, what, what do I need to do? For me, that is trouble. You know, for me, once I FaceTime my daughter and she says, you know, uh, can you come tomorrow? Mm. That is a trouble. You know, when my father some five, seven years back, you know, he was like, you have played enough cricket. You know, leave it now. There are others who will play. Mm. So now, you know, there are different things that's problem for you. Yeah. You know, it's just that problems are important part of life because if they don't keep testing us, you know, it, we won't really improve. For me, every day is important. I, I try to be the best version of myself and that's what keeps me going, you know, and that was as is something that has kept me going for a very long time and I don't think I'll change that perspective because cricket will end whether mm. la next year becomes my last year or the year after that but again it will be a part of my life you know that will have a comma or a full stop you know but the life continues. Yeah.